Right, good afternoon and welcome to Storytime. So today we're going to have a look at the richest crocodile in the world. And we're going to be thinking a little bit about money and how different ways of being rich really. So let's have a look. I hope you can see it. There were only a very few rich animals in the world and the richest by far was a crocodile. He lived in a crumbly old mansion in Africa. So he's a very, very rich crocodile. That crocodile had his very own cinema. He had beautiful walled gardens full of exotic plants and flowers and butterflies from all around the world. Imagine having your own cinema in your home. And he owned absolutely loads of cars, motorbikes and planes, even helicopters, which he could drive, ride and fly about whenever he fancied. He had a library so stuffed with books that it would take a whole lifetime to read them. And at night he would sit out on his balcony and watch the stars through his gigantic telescope. He was a very lucky crocodile indeed. How would you feel if you had all of those things? Would all of that make you happy? One day the crocodile looked through his telescope across the African plain beyond his wall garden and this is what he saw. A little look at what he saw. How do those animals look? Do they look happy? Do they look sad? Lots of animals having fun at a water hole. They were splashing and sploshing and mucking about and laughing and playing hide and seek. I want to have fun like that, decided the crocodile. He, so he rushed down to his pool and he splashed and he sploshed about. Does he look happy now? Why don't you think he's still not happy? He's got his very own pool. Why is he not happy? But it wasn't the same because he was on his own. He tried laughing and mucking about, but it just wasn't the same. He tried playing hide and seek with Jenkins, his butler. So he even had a butler to look after him. But Jenkins wasn't very good at hiding. Why isn't Jenkins very good at hiding? Big clue. The crocodile soon became bored. He became bored with his books, with his films, with his flowers, his planes, his motorbikes, his cars, his helicopters, and even the stars. Jenkins, he sighed, take me to the waterhole. I want to play with the others. So off they drove across the sun-scorched African plain to the waterhole. When they got there, they found no animals and hardly any water. Where is everyone? asked the crocodile. They must have gone off to find another waterhole, explained Jenkins. This one has dried up. So there's no more water in this one, so all the animals have gone. But I want to play with them, cried the crocodile. It's just not fair. My swimming pool never dries up. Sometimes life isn't fair, said Jenkins wisely. Why not, demanded the crocodile. Oh, well, you are lucky, said Jenkins. You are, after all, the richest crocodile in the world. Yes, I am, the crocodile said. But suddenly he felt very sorry for all the other animals. And turn the book up this way now. Then he had an idea. Jenkins, he cried, take me to my plane. And he took off and he whooped and he, oh, he whooped and swooped with a great big banner saying, come to Crocs for all the animals far and wide to see. So he's inviting all the animals to his water, um, to his, uh, his mansion. And one by one, two by two, all the animals arrived at the crocodile's mansion. Here's the crocodile standing up here welcoming everyone. Come in, come in, welcome, he sang. First, the animals sploshed in the crocodile's luxury pool. Then they laughed and mucked about in his gorgeous garden. They had a marvellous time, munching on watermelon ices, huge jellies and chocolate pie. The crocodile had never felt so happy in his life. Why don't you all come and live here with me, he asked. Then you'll, have, then you'll never have to worry about anything ever again. 
So the crocodile now wants all of the animals to come and live here in his mansion. If you were one of the other animals, would you? Would you go and live in a mansion or would you rather stay out on the African plains? Let's see what they do. That's very kind of you, said an elephant. You have a lovely home and it's really fun to be here. But our place is out on the plains, under the sun and the stars. Life isn't e always easy, but that is what makes it so good. For us, every day is an adventure. So actually, they don't want to come and live in a mansion. They like being out all together, out and going to different places from one water hole to the next. Oh, I see, said the crocodile thoughtfully. But don't go yet. Let's play one last game of hide and seek. Jenkins is it! And off they all ran. Jenkins wasn't any good at hiding, but he was very good at seeking. He found the elephant easily and the hippo. And one by one, here, there and everywhere, he found all the others too. All except the crocodile. Where could he be? A little bit of a clue in one of the trees. Hmm, said Jenkins, peeking over the wall and across the plains. What's this? Follow me, everyone. So the animals jumped into whatever they could find and they drove, rode and flew after Jenkins across a scorching African plain. And far off in a gorgeous blue waterhole, shimmering in the sunlight, they found the richest crocodile in the world, wearing nothing but his fez. That's his hat. You know what, he said. I want every day to be an adventure too. Hooray, good for you, yelled all the animals. And do you know the crocodile stayed with his friends living in the waterhole on the scorched African plain? He's still rich, but in a different way now. So he gave away all of his motorbikes, his cars, he gave up his mansion, and he just lived out on the plains. Have a think, how do you, how is he rich now? Hopefully some of you have got the answer that actually now he's rich with friends. So sometimes it doesn't matter if you haven't got the best, oh, the best computer or the best mobile phone or the best clothes, because actually all of those things don't make you happy but having friends and people who love you makes you more happy, okay? So have a little think about that next time you're saying, I want this or I want that. Because actually, people who sometimes haven't got a lot are actually happier. Right, enjoy the rest of your afternoon.